was 17 when I got my bachelor's in mathematics. Then I studied engineering after that. My major is health science. My degree is undecided, but I think I'm going to choose computer science. And I just completed my bachelor's in health science at 16, and now am going to pursue to get a master's degree in horticulture. I graduated with my undergraduate degree at 15 in political science, and I am about to graduate this May with my uh, Juris Doctorate at 19. I finished high school at the age of 11. Um, I passed the bar at 19, and I am the youngest lawyer in the state. Well, uh, it started out with uh, Hannah was in private school, and Mona Lisa had a friend who was homeschooling. She thought uh, she could do it too. Uh, we wanted to um, be the biggest influencer in our children's lives, and we felt like it was our responsibility to take over their education. And it's a blessing to have children, and, and we didn't really want to have her be gone, you know, eight hours a day and then have all that homework at night, which takes away from family time. And I try to make sure that they're well-rounded um, but really our, our formula is about being what, what are their interests and then uh, applying all the other subjects that are gonna support that. And that in that way you can round them out. So, uh, you know, in math examples, there's an infinite number of examples you can use, but you just tailor to, to their interests. And the library was a big part in letting them choose what they wanted to read at the younger ages. So some people would even say we were like relaxed unschoolers. But once we knew that it was time for them to start graduating, then we uh, emphasize a lot of studying for the ACT or the SAT. That's worked well for us, and they do very well once they're at the university with that. And they mature a lot during that time of getting their bachelor's or undergraduate degrees. So their SAT and ACT scores usually aren't high enough to get scholarships at that point. The scholarships have come later at the graduate level because they are older at that time. Well, it's difficult when they have to move away young. Um, our daughter, Rosanna, was uh, 15 uh, when she went to architecture school. But again, having a big support system is helpful because Hannah was able to move with her. Seth moved off to law school at 16. It, it's complicated when they're that young and they have a lot of ambition and it takes them away from the family because we are all about family and I want them close. But sometimes, you know, their dreams are in another town. It was a challenge, and there were definitely those high uh, points of, of, of challenge, like studying to get into law school, uh, taking that test, and then uh, studying for the bar exam. doesn't matter your age. The first year of law school is always very tough. It's a lot of work. He's not lying. <laughs> but um, I'm grateful. I'm blessed. It's been my dream for the longest time, so... Being the first lawyer in our family, that comes with its own set of challenges. You get a tremendous sense of pride um, being able to coach the next uh, set. That's nice when people hear our story and then they realize, yeah, my child can do this too. Yeah. And that's that's kind of what we're about is, is getting the story out so we can say, you know, anyone can do this. But they work their tails off. They really do. These kids really work hard and earn every bit of it.